Redeemer. It was 20 years ago today that Redeemer was destroyed by fire. So I wanted to just send you a message to let you all know that I'm thinking of all of you and thinking of this day and that it's on my heart. I also, during this time of Lent in my prayer practice, want to light this candle in remembrance of that day. I also just want to share with you a little thing that I keep in my office every day to remind me of the people you are and the perseverance that you have shown and the ways that the Holy Spirit has worked throughout Redeemer's history. And right here is the thing I keep in my office. It is a box of offering envelopes that survived the fire. And those envelopes say, once the fire of God's love has scorched your heart, there is no turning back. You'll know what it means to have the Holy Spirit of God blaze through you like a heavenly flame. That must have been a very devastating and challenging time for all of you. And I want to say that you persevered. You looked to the future. You envisioned a different kind of redeemer. You created a new building with flexible worship space that allows for creativity and imagination. You created a prairie that creates connection to the earth for caring of God's creation. You included a sanctuary garden that allows variety in worship spaces that gives us that holy time, that holy connection in those summer mornings that the birds are chirping and the leaves are blowing in the wind and the cows and the horses are making their sounds from the neighboring farms. You were a visionary and came up to the challenge you raised up the church. And today I want to celebrate that. I want to celebrate what you were able to achieve after the devastating fire. And so I am going to be giving to the 55 campaign today in honor of 20 years of being a resilient redeemer. I invite you to join me if you feel so moved. God bless.